This presentation is on the methods of characterization. There are two types of methods of characterization, direct and indirect. The direct method of characterization is what I like to consider the lamest method of characterization. It's when the author just says what the character is like. The author just writes, that guy is a jerk. Sure, we know the guy is a jerk, but there really wasn't any effort in trying to come to that conclusion on our own. It's a bad writer's way of just telling you that some guy is a jerk. The indirect method of characterization has to do with a few different items. The character's name might offer you some insights into what that person is like. For example, you can make some assumptions based on someone with the last name Skywalker. If someone's walking in the sky, they're probably not going to be particularly evil. You'll notice that even Anakin Skywalker, when he turned bad, had to change his name to something more ominous sounding. How that character looks can also let you know a little bit about that person's personality or behaviors. Someone who dresses fairly shabbily or wears a suit and tie gives you all kinds of insights into what kind of person that is. What a character thinks. Many times when you're reading a book you can actually read what the character is thinking and that also gives you insight into if their actions match their thoughts. Speaking of actions, what a person does plays a large part in how we think about them. Someone that's always doing kind things for people probably is going to be a relatively kind person. What that person says, when they're interacting with someone else, you can really see what a person is like. While they may be calm and collected if they're by themselves, once they start interacting with someone, then we get a sense of what their real motivations might be. And then what other people think of that character. Based on the other character's judgments of that person, we'll often find ourselves agreeing or disagreeing with that based on what we feel about that person. If an author uses these methods of characterization, it lets the reader decide what kind of person that character is.